Hey, what's up? This is Marcus from Sweat for Success Inspirations. I have an encouraging thought for you today. Today's word? Negativity. You ever get those kind of people in your life? You ever meet those type of people that can come around and you don't even have to know where they're at in the building? You can feel their presence around? Yeah, these type of people are the type of people you want to stay away from. And I say that because this. I want to share a story with you that's kind of relevant to my theme of this, uh, the topic, uh, negativity. If I did a study on um, sitcom TV shows, and I found out in that study that TV writers and TV producers will factor in a person's real personality into the character. Why? So the character can get more comfortable with being themselves. Not every character, and, and, and get this, this is only for TV sitcoms, not movies. Because you can play a character one time, but for a sitcom TV show, you have to continuously play the character. And for uh, some TV shows that I did a, a study on, that the, they factored in the person's, the people's real personality was um, the Golden Girls. Picture this, right? Four girls, four women. You have a grumpy old lady, Sophia. You have a mean old lady, Dorothy. You have an unsatisfied old lady, Blanche. And you have a very happy lady, Rose. And let me tell you something here, how this is going to relate to the theme. I, I, once I did this research on negative people, negative energy in TV sitcoms, I found out that when they factor in somebody's real personality into the TV sitcom, it's so they can get more comfortable and relaxed in being themselves and playing the role. Well, do you know in that TV show, Golden Girls, that all three of the women who had the negative vibes about them, the negative character, the woman who was unsatisfied, the woman who was mean, the woman who was grumpy, they all died in real life. All right? But get this. The only one still living today is Rose. And Rose was the bubbly, upbeat, energetic type of person. And that's her character. She still looks like Rose to me. If for some of you who don't know who Rose is, her real name is Betty White. She still looks like Rose to me when I see her out and about doing other things, playing um, other roles. She still has that bubbly, upbeat character to her. And no matter what role she plays, they always factor that in because that's the person she is. Now, what I'm saying to you and how does it all make sense to my, my topic and my, my, my point I want to make to you is that you're going to have some negative people that's going to come around in your life, right? And negative people, all they do is drain the blood right out of you. I like to call these type of people mosquitoes. You know, these type of people will, they, they, they will suck the life right out of you, right? All they do is scream, me, 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 me. And they suck life right out of you. Those are the type of people who you need to get out of your life. See, if you have a goal and you have a vision and you have a dream to go somewhere and be someone and be something in life, then the things that hold you back, the people that drain you, the people that no longer can support where you're trying to go, you see, they're not supporting you. You need to support a foundation. And if they're not supporting you, then you have to take the initiative and go another way. All right? So you got to get rid of the negative people. Here's a word of advice. Don't get in a hot air balloon with these people. Yeah, because they'll suck the air right out of the balloon, costing you your life. This is how negative they are. And, and I always say this, that these type of people can walk into a nuclear power plant and the whole building will shut down. It'll just stop working. Why? Because they drain the energy out of it. They take the life out of a building. And as I said before, you don't even have to look around for them. You can feel their presence when they're, when they're around. So what you want to do is remain in, from staying away from negative people. Um, Napoleon Hill said it like this one time, and I remember. He said, uh, can you imagine a negative mind and a, and a positive mind occupying the same space? No, you can't. It can't be done. You see, these two things, elements, cannot occupy and coexist with each other. And when you try to be a positive, upbeat, energetic person that's going somewhere, and you got somebody over here that's weighing you down, do you know I, I saw, um, I read somewhere 
it said this, it was a quote, and I can't remember who it was by, but the quote said this, that it's easier to pull someone down the ladder than it is to push them up. Meaning that if you are a dead weight, if there's someone in your life that's dead weight, that's, that's holding you back, then they can pull you down with them. You know, they live in this sea of misery that just drowns everyone that comes into that pool with them. And you need not to be there with them. Don't allow yourself to be faked out by these people. They, they seem like they have goals and ambitions and dreams. And really, they're stifling you. And, you, and you're wondering why your steps are not making any progress. Reasons being... Because you're around people who are weighing you down, anchoring you down, and you need to find a way out. Uh, Jim, Rohn, Jim Rohn said it best like this: uh, If you don't, if you don't um, get off course with w your your direction, then you're bound to get to where you're going. This it's just a plain, simple quote. He said it simple and plain, but it holds so true that if you do not stray away from your course. Then you're bound to get to where you're going. Direction, right? See, you have a direction and plan for your life. And you have somewhere you know where you're going. Like a captain of a ship has a map. You you have a map planned out for where you want to go. But you got people over here in the other corner telling you that um you can't go there. Or you can't do that. See, these are people you need to keep away from you. Negative people. Okay? Draining, toxic, energy. Uh, I've heard someone else call them... Um, uh, negative vampires you know they sucking the blood out of you these people you need to run from I always like to say this that if you don't um, if you don't get distracted then you won't get detoured to your direction meaning if you stay determined to your direction you won't get detoured by distractions and sometimes friends and family can become those distractions to us and we need not to allow that to happen although we love our family but sometimes family isn't the best thing for us when we're trying to elevate ourselves I always tell my family members this because I'm not here to brag or or impress you with anything but the way I've been doing things and taking my life in the course that it's been taking um, you can almost peek inside to see what I'm doing and understand that I have a vision and a goal and I'm trying to go somewhere, right? But I always tell my family who wants me to try to help them figure their lifestyle out too. And that's fine and well. But I can't hold your hand and always say that um, I, I, I can't save you if we're both drowning. I can't save you if we're both drowning. Let me get out, swim to the shore, get the life preserver, get a boat, and I'll be back. Hopefully you haven't drowned by then. But what I'm saying is you got to stay afloat just like I got to stay afloat. But with all that being said, I am not here to deter you, those negative people. I'm not here to deter them either. If, if there's ways that I can lift and get them to do the things that they need to do, then I'm all for that. And I will help them get there. But the thing is this. I can't help you in your position coming down to your position. And that's what you have to understand when you're trying to get to where you're going. Let it be known that you can't help them when you're both down. You get out, get up, come back, and then help. But the negative people, the people that are, I call them naysayers, the naysayers, those who are haters. Hey, Frank Sinatra said this, the best revenge is massive success. So for the haters, the negative people that's draining your life, the me mosquitoes, get rid of those people and let not your efforts, let not your time, let not your talents, and let not your possibilities to see the best for your life, let not your possibilities go wasted. Okay? Thank you.